I was in Haldem last night for their high school football banquet, a banquet that started at 7 last night, ended about an hour ago, incidentally, but what an incredible night it was. Here was a team celebrating a district title, but celebrating so much more. 17, 18-year-old kids talking about the love they feel for their teammates, their coaches, and parents. 17, 18-year-old kids talking about how they've learned an hour's game is actually a lifetime of memories. And 17, 18-year-old kids talking how they've learned that while the game is short, the lessons they've learned do continue for a lifetime. One of my favorite people teases me about my love for the kids and how I believe in kids. But Greg, you should have been with me last night. My wife will tell you I cried during the Waltons if Grandpa's sick, but Carl Copeland and his staff have touched these kids' lives, and now they've touched mine. I've always believed athletics, if coached, taught, and played the right way, can provide the foundation for a young person's future, a foundation built on integrity, dignity, and respect, and the kids in Haltom have that foundation, a foundation so solid it's like a rock. Many of you have seen this before, but we run it again. And here's Jerry Orr. After 48 years of famine, Haltom High finally reached the playoffs. It happened because Carl Copeland motivated his players with a message. Not from Newt Rockney or Woody Hayes or Jim Wacker, but from Bob Seeger. It seemed like every verse spoke to me uh, about what a player needs to think about. And uh, as I listened to it, uh, I decided at that time that was going to be our theme. Stood the bowling. Sweating in the sun. Yeah. Felt like a million. What? Felt like number one. Like a rock. Knowing that we were on the bottom, everybody said we couldn't do anything. We knew inside that we could do it. And that, it's just made it a lot greater just knowing, being able to come back and show people we can be number one. My hands were steady. My eyes were clear and bright. My walk had purpose. My steps were quick and light And I held firm To what I felt was right Like a rock Go out there and do the best that you can With your own willpower Without any of special help from drugs Or any kind of other stimulants to make you do better Stand and arrow straight Like a rock Charging from the gate game you know the ref may make a bad car the mouthing and you know I can't let that break my concentration towards the game 20 years now where they go 20 years I don't know I sit and I wonder sometimes where they've gone I just think someday I'm going to be able to look back at this and remember how great it was being out here with these guys and the companionship that each one of us had. When I look back, it's going to be, you know, fantastic. Other teams have tried unsuccessfully to get a piece of the rock. Jerry O, Channel 8 Sports in Haltom City. My own wife is always mad at me because she says I talk too much about the problems in athletics, drugs, the cheating agents, players on strike or holding out. Always wants me to say something positive. I don't think she'll be mad tonight, and I thank the kids in Halton for that.